Hey, today I'm gonna to be resurfacing a 3.0 3VZ Toyota block, so stay tuned. Hey, I got the block in my surfacer. Let's give this thing a couple cuts and see how bad this surface is. So this is after about a thou and a half. It's still pretty low in this back cylinder and over here. So let's give it a couple more thou and see what it looks like. All right, it's a hell of a lot better, but there's still a little bit of erosion right here, so I'll probably take another thou and a half, call it good. So these 3VZ Toyotas had a big problem when they first came out. The surface finish on the block was very rough. They'd blow head gaskets left and right. It was even so bad, the Toyota had a recall on these things. You'd take your truck in there, they'd give you a new bottom end free of charge. So if you're just going to pull the heads on these things, you definitely really want to double, triple check that block, make sure it's nice and smooth, or you'll have big problems with the head gasket sealing. I'm still chasing this little spot right here. It's not much, but it, it definitely needs to be gone. So I'm gonna take a couple more thou off. Uh, we're at four total right now. There you go, this side cleaned up at six and a half thousandths. I ended up deburring the edge of this thing too. It just makes, makes it look a little bit better. It doesn't have that sharp edge. So this thing's good to go. It still has a little bit of erosion between these two water jackets, but that's not gonna affect anything. So let's flip it over and do the other side. Man, I think this side got a little more toasty than the leather side. <laughs> uh, so I took a thou. It's still pretty uh, not flat. So I'm gonna have to probably take another four and a half, five to clean this thing up. So let's get to cutting. So it's on reverse. Let's get a forward cut going. Now I'm gonna go up here, crank it down two thousandths. Let this thing eat. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this this block's fairly eroded in the water jackets. I don't think they put much uh, antifreeze in this engine. Now we're on reverse. I'm gonna go ahead and take another two. So that's a total of five when it's all done. I'm going to deburr this with my carbide and my grinder.
right, here we come on that final pass. Hopefully it cleaned up. Well, she cleaned up pretty good. Got the mains all torqued on it. So I'm actually doing another block too. I'm doing a VG30 block. So I got a three liter uh, Nissan VG30, and then I got this three liter Toyota. They're kind of similar. They have a, you know, it's a V6. They're bridged in between the uh, cylinders. And then the main cap assemblies are also one piece, which makes it a lot stronger than having just a single main cap. By making those uh, connected, it just makes it a little bit stronger. The only thing I don't like about these engines, well, there's a couple things. Um, they have dang freeze plugs right in the middle. So the Nissan actually has these drains, which helps because if water gets in there, it'll drain to the back of the engine. This thing Toyota has nothing. So it just, it gets water in there and just kind of just sits there. And, uh, and there's no drain, so it's maybe ex expecting the engine to get hot and maybe evaporate. Uh, another thing, see this right here? This is the dang knock sensor. So if you have a knock sensor problem, you have to take the intake manifold off. And it's just a big chore to change. So I'm doing um, the same thing to both of these. I'll be, I decked this the other day. I'll show you a little clip right now of me surfacing it. We're gonna punch uh, punch this thing 20 over, and same with this uh, Toyota here, and make sure they'll make 20 over. If not, we'll punch them 30 or whatever the available next size is. I don't know if it's 30 or 40. Sometimes on these uh, Japanese engines, they just go straight straight from 20 over to 40 over, and the uh, 30s aren't available. All right, time for a couple facts. So those engines kind of have their similarities. They kind of came out in the same era too. Uh, so that Nissan. Uh, started off in 1984, the VG30, and ran that thing all the way up to 1998. And then the 3VZ Toyota started in 87, and they ran that thing to 1995. And then Toyota came out with the 5VZ. I think they ran that from 95 to 04. I could be wrong, but I think it was that time frame. That's a 3.4 liter dual overhead cam uh, V6. And then the VG30 uh, made a VG33, which is a 3.3 liter, kind of the same engine. They ran that from 96 all the way up to 2004. So there's a couple facts for you. Uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. The next video, we're gonna be punching this block out, or both these blocks out, and hopefully they'll make 20 over. You guys are just gonna have to wait and see. Well, that's gonna wrap up this one, guys. You guys are gonna have to come back and see what happens with these little V6s. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.